rooted in our history and unique to the role and authority granted us by the American people. The Army culture reflects the common mission, purpose, and sacrifice of each member of the profession. Our culture comprises our shared beliefs, values, and practices. It is the glue that forms unit trust and cohesion, instills discipline within the ranks, and gives the Army and its units their identity as a whole. The Army culture is an outward representation of our values and an inward reflection of how we operate. Culture can be broken down into four distinct levels. Artifacts, in-use practices, espouse beliefs and values, and basic underlying assumptions. At the surface of our culture are the artifacts. They are what persons see, hear, and feel when interacting within the Army. They are the visible aspects of our culture. Things like unit mottos, insignia, flags, uniforms, and even how ceremonies are performed. Our language and customs and courtesies convey our respect. Our stories and heritage reinforce esprit de corps and unity. The actions of the soldiers and civilians throughout the Army, regardless of their compatibility with our spouse values, are considered the in-use practices of the Army culture and represent the reality of our thoughts and decisions. At the next level of culture exists our spouse beliefs and values. These are what the Army says is important and we aspire to as members of the Army profession. These beliefs and values, which must be forefront in our minds, are stated in our published doctrine, rules and regulations, and policies. Additionally, the seven Army values, Soldier's Creed, DA Civilian's Creed, and Warrior Ethos are representations of these espoused beliefs and values. They exist to guide our speech and our actions as a professional army. At the deepest level of our culture are the basic underlying assumptions that have evolved to become integral foundations of how we view ourselves and execute our missions. For example, the Army values the service and sacrifice of a volunteer soldier because it is one of the most basic assumptions of our culture. Such assumed principles and convictions are adopted through years of experience and now serve to guide our policy at the most fundamental level. Finally, our shared identity as both a profession and a family affects the behaviors of individuals at all levels and is a critical component of the Army culture. Our identity is derived from a common and shared mission, purpose, and sacrifice. This shared identity guides our behavior at all levels and motivates us to put duty and service before ourselves. It forms the bonds in and among units and is the root of our selfless service. This identity is inherent in our culture and therefore shared among all who answer the call to duty. Understanding the aspects of our culture and being aware of its effects on the force is a leader competence required at all levels of the Army. Leaders must proactively ensure consistency between the actions of their units and organizations and the espoused beliefs and values of our culture. Leaders are also responsible for assessing our culture and aligning it to meet the expectations and needs of soldiers and civilian corps, and just as important, the American people. The culture of the Army is a representation of its soldiers and civilians alike. It is characterized by the guiding values, ethics, and ideals required of it by our nation. Looking forward, our culture must be considered and guided in the context of where we have been and where we will go.